how do CBDCs attack individual freedom? Well, I think a lot of people have experience now with COVID lockdowns. So just imagine COVID lockdowns, but for your money. That is what a CBDC enables. It's a way for the central bank and the government, by extension, to have full control over your money, full visibility into all of your transactions, and the ability to do things that are interesting for them, but not necessarily interesting for average people. Uh, for example, freezing accounts. That can be done now simply by flipping a switch at the central bank. They don't need to go to the different branches where you have accounts anymore and tell them or serve them with a court order. That can all be done at the government level. Uh, they can also influence the money by implementing things like negative interest rates. And those would be instant and have immediate effect on all your holdings because they're all digital. Um, and I guess the best feature for the central banks is expiry of money. So they can say your money has an expiry date at which it has to be spent before. And that could be to help them achieve a goal of um, more spending, stimulation of the economy and whatnot. But it totally erodes the possibility for people to save money at that point. But if you look at it from a very high level, it's just letting money become the ultimate plaything of central bankers. Right now, you still have cash. You still have deposits with individual banks. But under a CBDC system, that's all gone. And it's just a digital currency controlled by the central bank.